Carl's four year old. We brought her down to Stockbridge today. And this is a quiet day in Stockbridge. Not that that's what we've chosen. We'd sooner every day be busy because obviously it's better to get unusual things passing them, you know, you get tractors on this road or any sort of farm machinery on this road um, because there's farms all around and they, you know, they used to get the, use the high road as they always have done, get the one side to the other of the town so she's four year old Philly, she's definitely got attitude so she's one of those that will argue the point. So I suppose we'd best destroy by saying that like a stroppy teenager, you know, you ask them to do something they don't want to do it, but they can't tell you why, you know, they just don't want to do it, I'm doing that. Um, and she's very much like that. Now, there's ways of dealing with that um, you can take a firm approach now when I say a firm approach because I'm so quiet around them and I'll make sure that the whole stable is quiet so I don't have any pop music playing in the stable never ever we'll have like a radio 4 or a speaking program on in the background turned down well they can hear it definitely and that runs 24 hours a day seven days a week now people say does it make a difference well the only thing i can say to you is just things i've learned over the time that make a, an environment that suits 90 percent of all and if you're going to do, you make an environment that says 90% then you're doing very well. So, if you turn that radio off at, say you go out at 10 o'clock at night before you go to bed, just give them a little check, yeah? Go then. You'll, walk up there. You'll find that you turn it off and they'll start talking, you know? <laughs> different noises they make to each other they're talking to each other once you turn it back on it all goes quiet again so obviously they miss that like it it's some sort of comfort so all the things we do are quiet so the reason i'm trying to explain that is when i raise my voice to them and i sound i don't want to sound cross with them maybe. because you've got to have two places to go so when you raise your voice, that's all you're doing is raising your voice. After that, you got to be raising your voice um, firmer, you know, and more direct, um, stronger in other words. So you'd say, for instance, I'm talking to you, you know. So you'd say, for instance, like, hey, I'm talking to you, behave yourself. I don't want to say too much when I'm sat behind it because I've done nothing wrong. It's, and then I'll say, I'm talking to you, now get a pay attention. Yeah? And that's all I want. Now, if I can get away with using just the nice, soft, and quiet environment where they feel safe and relaxed, and then, be, and then when I, as soon as I change that, there is a, a, a difference. It'll work the same way when you start when you start to drive the horses. Because you're gonna say, you know, walk like this, and then you're gonna say, you know, trot, trot. You walk your horse, so you heard her then I said trot, and then it didn't react straight away as I want it to, so then I'd ask it again. Steady, steady baby girl. Steady now, go back to that soft, quiet voice. Steady baby girl. Yes, you are, you young rascal. That sort of voice, yeah? 
that's your soft comforting duvet voice I call it you know you've had a shower it's time to bed you've got nice clean bedding on the duvet's all soft and clean you get in now and that's lovely isn't it snuggle down that's the same for them so you want to I try and do that within the range of, of noises um, they encounter you know but she's a cantankerous awkward pony wants to argue all the time so for instance this is a lovely bit of flat road and I'll pull off up here if I possibly can and show you what I mean so I want her to back yeah, to start learning to back now she fights that now there is when I say there's no reason, there's no rhyme or reason that I can see where there's anything to do with any, you know, any discomfort in her back, in her limbs, in her body, in any way that after her to reverse becomes a chore, you know, a pain. So. Up, baby. Well, I'm going to stop in this layboy here, these great long layboys are here for people to visit the town and they sort of like a, almost like a car park I suppose um, and these long layboys so we're just pulling behind this grey vehicle not get too near to it, we don't want to use the, the grey vehicle as a prop well bit to step back. So it's done a few miles now, not a lot. Been down to Stockbridge, so it's done about but it's done it easy then we've just stopped and had a give her a drink and put a rug over her back and she's had half an hour's rest. So she stand there like that on the rain doing exactly what I've asked her on the rain. Now, I'm going to ask her to come back. Now, you could have exactly the same circumstance. Exactly. As near as you could possibly create it. Could be the same bit of road, the same distance, the same everything. And one day she'll back back without any trouble at all. The next day she'll want to argue about it. And it is very, very frustrating. Because you've got to keep your... There's no point in you, you know, losing your rag. You've got to keep that calm, nice place. I'll just show you what I mean. So all it's got is a windering, which is the new bits we use. Windering rubber bit. It's just an ordinary snaffle. So by that, it's a straight bar of rubber with a loose running ring on the end. So if I ask it to come back, yep. She might do it, she might not. So I'm gonna just get her come. All right, baby, come back, darling. Come back, come back. So I want her to come back off the voice, really. You know, that's what I aim to do. And they all do it by the time they get ready to leave, but this is cantankerous. So I've got to find that place where she will yield. Yeah, so she's pushing straight against me hands. Can you see? Dropping her head, pushing against the bit. I am not doing that, and you can't make me. And I don't want to make her. So I've got to come to compromise with her, and I've got to try and say to her, come on, my baby girl, come back, darling. Yes, you are, you young rascal. What are you doing then, my baby girl? Until she stops doing that, we've got no chance. Steady, my baby girl. Come back, darling. Come back, baby. Come back. I'm make sure I put my hands forward. I'm not going to put any restraint on her. But come back, baby. Come back. So you can see there's a yield there. But she's still got to argue about it. 
and bear in mind we were recreating what we done the other day two days ago we're getting it all exactly as it was everything's nice weather fine everything you know and it wants to argue can you see so even for no reason at all it's pushing against this bit Push against the bit for no reason whatsoever. The second I apply any sort of pressure, just the weight of the reins coming off the horse's back, yeah, will be enough for her to do that, yeah. But now you can say, well, what you want to do is you want to pull back as hard as you can or put another bit in. Um, do this, do that. No, I want her to do what I asked her to do, not what I forced her to do. Forcing horse to do anything, don't prove anything to me, don't make you horseman. But if you've got the patience to sit here, this is not going to work today. Um, I know that now. So I'm not going to keep trying, you know, I'm going to just see if I can get one step. Now if I get one step, I hope my baby. Oh, my baby, so I'm restricting her from putting her head down now, right? And then, now look at her body. See there, watch the reins. The reins tell it, say it all. Right? So she chose to push against her reins. And she's yielding. And not doing anything, yeah? Come back, babe. Come back, darling. So I'm not, I'm not pulling her. It's a, this is very hard to understand. Maybe I'm not pulling her. I'm keeping my hand still. So she's pushing the bit. I am not pulling her. If I pull her, she'll fight. Yeah. Whoa. Come over, babe. Come over. Come over. Whoa. Okay. Another, I've had someone say once when I was doing this before and explain, they said, well, what a place to do it. Out there amongst all the traffic and on the public highway. Well, in my opinion, with this pony, come over, darling. Come over, baby girl. Well, what do you do? At this level of training, where she's at, that shouldn't make any difference. So that's where it'll happen. And she'll deal with all these big lorries, just like they don't exist, right? I'll turn her head that way, look, whoa. That way, nothing. So all of that's done. So this is a pure argument I'm not gonna do. Some will choose something else um, that they're not gonna do. Now, you can fight that if you want to, that ain't going nowhere. You just got to get that one step back and call it a day. Yeah. So we just put that on. Come back, babe. Come back, Dolly. Come back. Come back, baby. Come back. So I'm not pulling. She's pulling against the bit. Now there's another thing here. Look, can you see she's gone on to three legs? Look at her hip. Look at the line of her hip. She's gone on to three legs. Now, any horse that stands on three legs ain't going anywhere. That's decided I'm staying here. That's not going anywhere. Ain't going forward, back, or anything. That's going to stand there. I just want to get one step. Come back, baby. Come back. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, Dolly. Come back. There you go. That'll do. Now you can say, well, that's not even a step. Come over. But that is, see? So now I've got to stop her. Huh? Get a red where it was. Right. Now you said me, why haven't you praised her? Well, I want to praise her when she does does it better with no argument. If I praise her now, and then my baby, my sugar plant, if I praise her now, she thought, well, that'll do. Well, it won't do, will it? It's not good enough 
for it to have all that just does that but it's got to start somewhere so I don't need to say much at all right I'm going to try and get one more step you can see there we had to, went to go up the curb and it come back done a couple of three but that was untidy and dangerous if you ask all to back like that it's no good I mean we want to be able to put her in a situation where we can back her between two 45 gallon drums you know plastic drums without touching them with about a foot gap each side then reduce it down to six inches I'm just going to ask her to come back again See if we can get one step. Come back, baby. Come back, darling. Come back, my baby. Hey, 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 hey. There's your good girl. Come back, baby. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come. So again, she's pushing against my hands. She's pushing against a bit. I'm keeping my hands still. If you look for a mark on the reins, you can see that's basically still. It stays in the same place, yeah? And here we go, there's our step back, yeah? Thank you so much, that's half a step, that's all right. Come back, baby. Come back, darling. Come back. So she's given to me three times now, isn't she? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I've got to hold me hand still. Come over. Good. If she does that, no trouble at all. Come back. Come back. But I must not pull her. I can hold her head straight. Like that. Come back, babe. Come back. Come back. Whoa. 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 